Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about Ripple and XRP as well as the vast majority of crypto and finance. And with that being said, let's just dive in and let's start off with this we hear. So I tweeted out yesterday and I said we are marching into the decade of crypto. The next 10 years will bring about significant changes that will shock the entire system to its core. This technology will reshape and disrupt every aspect of life. Don't believe me? That's okay. You don't have to. You can believe names like the BIS, the IMF, the World Bank, the World Economic Forum, BlackRock, JP Morgan, Citi, Swift, DTCC, etc. You think it's a coincidence that every single major global organization, financial organization, financial institution, etc. is talking about crypto. The foundation is being laid, the pillars are being built, the new global system is coming. Those that have been skeptics for years will soon be using this technology 24-7, 365. The rails of tomorrow that run everything will be digital. Welcome to the fourth industrial revolution. Those that have seen it for years now realize where we are headed. This is why I diversify into the utility gems that tomorrow's world will be utilizing. A few of them are, and of course, XRP is one of them. There is a lot of great opportunities in this space. And yeah, you know, one thing that I've been really kind of adamant about with a lot of my tweets lately is getting the idea across to the general public on just how big of a fundamental change we are about to see. Every single major event up to now has been leading the way full charge ahead for the fourth industrial revolution to finally be ushered in. And this has been a revolution that we have been talking about for a while. And I do see a lot of comments out there from the retail sector. It's kind of comical that it's always the retail sector, not the institutions that are complaining. But the retail sector has always said, when is this finally going to happen? When is all of this going to, you know, really fall into place? I'm tired of seeing XRP trading at this and that, blah, blah, blah. And the biggest thing is, you know, institutions don't care if XRP is at 50 cents or $5. Okay, they, like they, they understand that this is not, you know, the dollar. This is technology. This is fundamental technology that could change the way that value is, you know, moved, settled. That can't have a small price tag on it. They can't. And uh, this entire space can't have a small price tag on it. The problem is, is that right now we are so damn early to the point where regulations still need to be ushered in fully. When they are, all the trash that is really kind of overloading the system around crypto, to uh, put it lightly, will finally be gone. Um, and I do think that that is a world where you know, utility finally is uh, kind of spotlighted. And I think that that's when everyone that has been hating on XRP, and I even think lately we've started to kind of see this, uh, will soon be major fans of XRP because they will finally see the value behind it and why, you know, many people in the community have been talking about higher price targets for XRP and higher valuations and why XRP demands a higher value on it. Also within this, I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about the change that is happening because listen, we are on the edge of a major transformation and I do think that this is all centered out on the internet of value that Ripple has been really kind of a major um, you know, promoter of forever. What do you see? Finance leaders believe that tokenization will make a significant impact across sectors, trading tokenized assets, stocks and bonds, real estate, derivatives and carbon markets. And listen, as we look at a lot of these markets and their valuations, you know, assets, right? Like equities, for example, equities are a $100 trillion global market. Real estate is a $300 plus trillion global market. Derivatives are a $600 plus trillion notional value market. And I don't think people finally, like, I, I think at this point, you know, most people can, can come to the conclusion that, all right, yeah, maybe this is, you know, going to be a big thing, but I still feel like they all are still kind of stuck in the short-term aspect of this market. Meaning, as we really kind of look at things and as we take a step back and analyze what's happening, you know, this this space has a $1 trillion global market cap. That's all of the tokens combined. Think about the markets and the values of these markets that this technology is disrupting. 
how can you not think that we are so early? Why are we still stuck in the short-term aspect of this market? Why are we still worried about what the price of XRP is going to be next year? When we should technically be saying, okay, well, let's go look at Amazon stock. Where was Amazon stock, you know, in 1999? And then where was it in 2019? Compare the two valuations. It will blow your mind because things take time. And another big thing is tokenization, right? Riz XRP posted a few of the numbers from this full-on report, and we do see numbers don't lie. XRP is part of the equation. XRP is at the center point. Look it. Right there, next to 50 billion total DeFi market cap in February of 2023, XRP is front and center. And when we look at this, right, like the token life cycle in the internet of value, what does the life cycle journey look like for a tokenized asset? Well, first off, tokenization. 80% plus global finance leaders think tokenization will be a big impact on trading tokenized assets like stocks and bonds, buying and selling real estate, derivatives, and carbon markets. $18 billion total market size of all tokenized assets right now. We're not even scratching the surface yet. Managing. The token can then be used to trade, transfer ownership, make a payment, lend, borrow, etc. via an exchange or marketplace. 66% of enterprise finance leaders are familiar with using blockchain solutions for finance to trade, borrow, or lend tokenized real, real world assets. And then move. With increased liquidity, the token's value can be used as a form of digital currency and moved around the world in real time 24-7, 365 a $250 trillion expected cross-border payments value by 2027. As we look at everything, the values behind a lot of these tokens, they aren't even scratching the surface. 66% of enterprise finance leaders are familiar with using blockchain solutions for finance to trade, borrow, or lend tokenized real-world assets. Like That is a big deal. And then, of course, we have the $250 trillion expected value by 2027. Like over the course of the next four years, I think that we are going to start to see a big shift in adoption and use of these tokens. I really do. All right. And again, like everything that we have seen around like the XRP ledger, for example, like I recently made a video um, where I talked about the XRP ledger, right? And I talked to you guys a little bit about the significance of focusing on the actual ledger outside of what Ripple is doing. And yes, I love the value of what Ripple is doing, but also like the XRP ledger itself has so many major use cases that are looking at tokenization, that are looking at, you know, streamlining, um, you know, payments and payment technology. Like all of this combined with what Ripple is trying to do here around tokenization using XRP, and even cross border payments using XRP, that's a big deal. But then on top of that, you have treasury management. The time is now to modernize treasury management and break from the status quo. In this full report, it's heavily focused on on demand liquidity. You scroll down, and the first introduction you are met with the global cross border payments landscape is slow, fragmented, and ripe for innovation. This is a $250 trillion projected market. Listen, I've talked about it in the past, right? As you look at XRP, there's going to be significant demand for the token, just like all of these other great utility tokens, but I do think that there's going to be a lot higher demand for XRP versus some of these other tokens because it has been in this space forever it has been marketed to these big institutions forever it is here it is now it has the power behind it and the potential behind it to disrupt the global payments flow think about that think about how big that is amazon stock is worth what amazon stock is today because amazon has disrupted the the shopping um, aspect of life. Hey, look, it's e-commerce. It's an e-commerce giant, essentially. That's all it is, right? Online shopping. And that has that valuation. We're talking about something 
that is fundamentally changing the way that value is moved and settled in the most efficient manner. That is something huge. The cross-border payments landscape is also fragmented and ripe for innovation. No one understands the implications of globalization better than financial institutions that manage cross-border capital flows. This management depends on best-in-class payment services to ensure funds flow smoothly and on time throughout an organization in sync with business needs and geopolitical environments. There is a time-critical factor for getting funds to the right place at the right time for a lot of those multinational financial institutions that operate on a global scale. Legacy international payment rails can take days to settle and lack the transparency needed for businesses to precisely predict treasury flows. Now, treasury flows is also a big business model. All right. Within this, here we have the focus on XRP. Drive your business forward with on-demand li liquidity. Imagine, imagine a world where businesses are using XRP at scale. Imagine Amazon using XRP. Right? It could be a possibility. It could happen. I'm not saying that it will. I'm just saying, like, imagine a world where these businesses are underpinned by digital assets because of the efficiencies that are tied to them. Payments is a cost intensive business that requires efficient global payment rails and access to working capital in order to innovate and grow. On demand liquidity is a cutting edge liquidity solution that leverages the digital asset XRP to enable instant settlement and reduce the need to hold pre funded accounts in destination markets. All right, and, and within this, right, like we have a ton of great opportunities for businesses, cost op optimization, superior technology, a trusted partner. And then you have the streamlined global payments buy, and we have all of the solutions there. As we look at this, right, like it's so significant to mention all of this because, you know, Ripple is now a global network. They are in 90% of the FX market, which we do know down here, which is a 7%. 0.5 trillion dollar per day market they have expanded rapidly in the last couple of years and i do think that the sec lawsuit although it had its negative effects it also had a very positive positive effect on what ripple was able to do outside of the u.s they were able to meet with major banks major governments nations and partner with some of the largest names out there and if we actually look at that ripple today has a much larger global market or a global network i should say that makes up a large percentage of the global market and it is so so important to focus on that aspect because and i don't mean this in the sense that Ripple is providing value for XRP. No, I don't believe that that is the case in terms of really kind of what we should be focused on. But what I am focused on is the opportunity of XRP having that massive exposure to 90% of the FX market. Because if we actually streamline the FX market, that is seven and a half trillion dollars per day. That's big. That's a huge market. But then you combine this like outside of what you know we are seeing here, you combine it with tokenization. You combine this with, you know, everything on the XRP ledger. This is huge. And then we see here speed savings and liquidity with blockchain. So first off, they talk about the global payment solution. But then we even see down here, even as recently as October of 2022, broad government initiatives like the G20 are still being defined and research is being conducted to address the challenges surrounding the current cross-border payments landscape most notably speed, cost, and transparency. But even with these initiatives, progress has been slow moving and the majority of cross-border payments are still quite opaque, as noted in March of 2023 by the IMF. Ripple's payment solution provides real value. Right now with real-time settlement and greater payments transparency, arming financial institutions that adopt these solutions with an unparalleled competitive advantage. We also see Ripple's payment solution also offers optimized liquidity for cross-border payments including complex corridors and they do mention a lot of those big ones and do you guys see something very interesting there brazil india yeah they already have major connections to a lot of the BRICS nations as well we've talked about that but a lot of these areas are so huge and i want you guys to understand that like this is why i focus 
so heavily on the long term. You know, so many people are looking at XRP and they're saying like, why isn't the price skyrocketing right now? Like we are still in a Bitcoin driven market. Like how, how, how annoying is it to be in this space, understanding what's going on with this space, understanding the significance of this technology, but you're still underpinned by Bitcoin, which we know it's not Bitcoin. We know Bitcoin's not the chosen one. We know Bitcoin's not going to, you know, disrupt the global payment flow. We know that it's not Bitcoin. But think about how crazy it is that Bitcoin had over a $1 trillion plus market cap in the last major run up. Yet most people are still looking at XRP and saying XRP can't hit $1 trillion in market cap. Like how comical is that? This is why I focus on the long term. Okay, it took Bitcoin well over 10 plus years to achieve a trillion dollar market cap. XRP got targeted, suppressed. It hasn't had a new all-time high in well over 2,000 plus days. Okay? It is brewing. Big moves are brewing. They are coming. A utility-driven market's coming. When a utility-driven market is here, I'm telling you right now, I don't believe anyone is going to be talking about price action. I really don't think they are. Because what we will see is major growth value-wise from the global utilization of XRP combined with the retail sector utilization as well. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, to notifications on because of more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And uh, with that being said, guys, I hope that you all have a beautiful day. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.